Hey, I'm Oak. So this might be kind of uh, unusual for this channel. Um, this is, I guess, my like second meet the person videos. I know some of you are probably saying, you know, second, I don't know this person. I, I used to go by Glow um, back in 2019. That was the only video I was really in on this channel before I went to sleep. Or I guess sort of sleep. I'm gonna take these off, I'm much more comfortable without them. I would say that looks more like me, but I can't fucking see. So after I went to sleep, another shadow took up the name Glow, and uh, it fits her better. So I guess I should, like, reintroduce myself, or I guess maybe introduce myself for the first time. I'm Oak, I'm 19, uh, and I never fucking learned how to read. Um, are Vine references still cool? I don't know. The Evergreens say that, uh, all of us, like, make a concerted effort to be funny. I guess I never really thought about it until they brought it up. Defense mechanism in a way, you know? My pronouns are he, him. I'm the first, like, guy that we've had on, on the channel. And let me clarify that I'm not, like... I'm not a cis man. I'm not even a man, per se. I would consider myself to be agender, um, but still masculine. Uh, I said to my therapist the other day that I'm not a man, but I am a guy. So being back and taking up space in the body more is um, interesting. I don't have that much dysphoria with it. Um, I do feel some dysphoria around our chest. Uh, I need to get a binder or something. But like when I look in the mirror, I still see my face. Like I don't think that our face has changed that much. It's just that, you know, we're eating now. Um, and our our skin has softened and our features have softened a little bit, but it's still my face. And uh, there's there's some comfort in that. We kind of all agreed for this new round of, of meet the selves videos, we weren't going to do like a checklist of questions and that we were just going to talk about whatever we wanted to talk about, whatever felt like important to our being. And I think that if this were like a year or two ago, I would have said that my my being, what's crucial to my being, is being miserable, you know? But I don't feel that way anymore. I feel good. I feel real fucking good. But that's, that's a huge change for me. Like, this time last year, I was not feeling nearly this good. When I woke up in January 2021 and, like, fully remembered who I was... I was not pleased, and I immediately started taking it out on people who had done me wrong. Sandra, for one, obviously. If you watch this channel, you know that she and I have had problems for years. We're good now. But back then, I was all too keen to start telling people about how she, at one point, thought about, like, trying to kill me. I know now that it was a byproduct of a lot of things. It was a byproduct of getting too deep into, like, the IFS parts of the whole shit, where I guess her idea was, like, I'll just, I'll just kill this one and get a new one. It was partly some of her own issues around dysphoria. None of it's right. But the important thing is that she made an effort since I woke up. She apologized to me a lot. And after the point where Audrey told me that I couldn't make Sandra apologize anymore, she gave me space. She let me be angry with her and not forgive her, and she never asked for forgiveness. And I think that we would have stayed there maybe forever if, um, if I hadn't met someone like-minded. There's this girl. Her name is V, like the letter. We don't use the word persecutor in our system because mom says we're not allowed to, which is fine. I just like poking fun. 
But V and I are both persecutor types. And one day, she was having some problems, and Claudia and the others were trying to talk to her, and I was just in the background saying, like, let me talk to her, because cause I know what she's going through. And everyone was real fucking nervous to do this on in both systems. And uh, we talked, and um, to everyone else's surprise, we found comfort and companionship in each other. And that really started a pathway to healing. We just get each other. I think having somebody who really got me on that level, I don't know, I don't really believe in, like, even if we're doing the whole, like, system member archetypes, I don't really believe in, like, a reformed persecutor kind of thing. I don't really believe in a persecutor kind of thing, really. Because I think saying that I'm reformed implies that I was doing something wrong and that I was doing something wrong unprompted, I guess. And yeah, I did some not nice stuff. I did some fucked up stuff. I did that because I was hurt and people kept hurting me. But I'll say I appreciate the others for being patient with me and giving me more than one chance, even when I was being an asshole. I was justified in being an asshole, but I was still being an asshole. I don't know. I guess that the thing that I learned with this is that it goes both ways. Like, yes, they treated me shitty, but they're not going to stop treating me shitty if I'm treating them shitty, you know? And I know that doesn't apply to every system and probably shouldn't apply to every system. It doesn't apply to every situation. Sometimes people provoke you and provoke you and provoke you and you, you greet it with a smile for so long and that does nothing, but then you greet it with a fist and it stops. But that's not this situation. And I think that knowing the difference between when someone will stop when you treat them shitty and knowing when treating somebody shitty is just going to make it worse is important. If they're thinking the worst about you, if they're thinking that you're an asshole, confirming that doesn't help. I don't know. I don't really have a message for other persecutors besides, like, I see you, I guess. Persecutors get a lot of shit in this community for good reason and for bad. But I think people don't come at us with empathy, even when we're doing fucked up shit on purpose to fuck with people. I don't think people think about why, you know, because people don't want to know why. They don't want to examine their own actions. So it feels good when somebody puts in the effort to examine their own actions and, like, gives you space and says that you don't need to forgive them and that they like you, you know? That was the difference maker, that people liked me, even when I was unlikable, when I saw myself as, as unlikable. I don't know. I feel like I've rambled for 20 minutes but not really said anything. I'm Oak. I like writing. And for the first time in a fucking decade, I feel like I can write again. I feel like my head is clear. I feel happy. I feel so fucking happy. I know that it doesn't seem like it in this video. Like I'm, I'm here in the fucking goth clothes and <laughs> talking about how people treat me so shitty for so long. But the point is that I'm not being treated that way anymore. And I'm not treating myself that way anymore. I have friends. I have people who care about me so fucking much. This month I have laughed and smiled more than I have in a decade. I guess I just feel like this is more who I was supposed to be. If fucked up shit didn't happen to me, I wouldn't be the same person, but it would be closer to this. And it's good to know that I can go through all that fucked up shit and still end up here. Still be, be happy. And it's been nice finding myself in that way. Finding out who I am when I'm happy. Finding, like, style that fits me. Finding out that I like stupid accessories and I like eyeliner. Like, who fucking knew? I like wearing her hair down. I'm a little sad Claudia's gonna shave it all off in a couple months. And knowing that I can feel attraction to people again. I never thought I would ever again. 
You might see more of me on this channel, you might not. You might see more of me on our Twitch. I had fun streaming the other night. I guess I want to hear from you. Like, what, what makes you happy? Like, what's something that you thought maybe you'd never do again? I don't know. Leave some kind of comment. Like the video. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on, on Twitter. We have a Patreon. You can give us money there if you want. But regardless, we appreciate you watching and listening. Stick around, because things change. I'll see you.